A suspect in a deadly shooting at a Juneteenth celebration here in Texas remains at large this midday. So this happened in Round Rock down near Austin on Saturday night, leaving two people dead. Our Chris Sadegi is live with the latest. Chris, what can you tell us at this point? Well, Cleo, we're still awaiting the next step update, but we do know the FBI is now involved after this Juneteenth celebration turned violent, leaving two people dead and 14 others injured, including one as young as 10 years old. The celebration was winding down around 11 o'clock Saturday night when police said a fight broke out between two groups of people and someone in one of those two groups pulled out a gun and started shooting. The chief of police in Round Rock said the victims were bystanders who were not involved in the altercation. He updated the media on Sunday and answered questions about the amount of security that they had at the event. Regardless of the amount of security that we had, we had somebody who decided to take uh, matters in their own hand and kill two people and injure 14 other people senselessly. This isn't about the police. It's about those folks who were careless and could care less about somebody else's life. And the FBI will be assisting Round Rock police in trying to find the shooter who's described as a man believed to be either 19 or 20 years old. Cleo, back to you. All right, Chris, thank you.